update as to what all is going on. Most of y'all know where I've been, what I've been doing, but I'm going to kind of go into a little bit of detail about it. Before I do that, I'm going to spin you around, do some shout outs to some people. Got a lot of people to thank uh, for this weekend and also for subscribing. Let me spin you around. SulfurCityDesigns.com. I always say, you know, for all your off road, more mudding, modding, and stickage, and all that good stuff. But uh, SCH Design, they also provided all the t shirts uh, for uh, the prepper stock. So that was really cool of them, and they're really cool t shirts. I think I was able to snag one that was left. Uh, really cool. Guys, if you're looking to uh, do any kind of custom work, t-shirts, doesn't have to be for uh, mudder, you know, mudding or anything like that, mower mudding, uh, whatever kind of group you have, he does really good work. Southern Off-Road Mowers on Facebook. My gosh, we're almost to a thousand people. I got to give away some crap when we get to a thousand people. So, go to it and subscribe and post some junk or not, but we like it if you do. ATLTF.com for all kinds of stuff. If you have, uh, if you're looking to do a build and you have a question about it and want to know if you can do it, can you do it? If you can't do it, why can't you do it? And you're going to do it anyway, go to look at the All Terrain Long Tractor Forum. A uh, bunch of good guys there. Austin Treat, thanks for subscribing, man. Montana, thank you, sir. Blackwater1674, thank you. Riley James, thanks for subscribing, man. Zach Smith, thanks, Zach. Jack, Jake, I'm sorry, Jake, 28 Hyde. Thanks, Jake. Jacob Jeff, thanks, man. Clemens Schmitter. Tez Walker. James Barrow, thank you. Don Danks. Rusty 81 Russ, thanks, man. Lauren uh, Wembley on the Google Plus and then Redneck Computer Geek for having me back on the Google Plus as well. Thank you, buddy. And I mentioned SCHDesign.com uh, did the t-shirts and later on uh, next day or so when I get everything cleaned out, undone, washed, sorted, uh, I'll take a look uh, at the t-shirt with you and we'll, we'll look it over. More to come, guys. Um, what prepper stock was um, a bunch of guys, and there was, I guess it was about 60 different channels uh, who came, different groups of people who came uh, representing their channels to uh, just uh, meet and greet and talk and uh, drink and eat. Uh, they cooked a pig. Man, good stuff. And, uh, and visit with each other and kind of meet each other face to face because everybody had met each other online. And uh, most of them are pretty much like-minded uh, people, not a bunch of nuts or anything like that. People who do a lot of prepping. I do a lot of prepping. I just don't uh, do a lot of it on my videos. Uh, really nice guys. Uh, BC Truck uh, was one of them. A lot of you uh, subscribed to his channel. If you hadn't, why not? Go to it. Uh, but I can show you the shop is in a freaking disarray here because uh, this morning... It started raining. Well, last night uh, we were there, going to be there till this evening, but last night about 7:30 it started raining, and it kept raining till about six this morning. A lot of water. Uh, most all the tents had some water in them. It was it was a pretty good bit of rain, and so we ended up coming back a little bit earlier than we anticipated and I am hanging up everything to uh, dry out. I had the big fan going but you can't hear the uh, hear me talking over the big fan. And I'm gonna hang the real big tent across the middle here. So there's got like tents and tarps and all kinds of junk all over the place. Now we're back and I'm just what kinda going over a bunch of stuff. Cataloging all the stuff. I actually forgot a lot of stuff. I've been working out of town down in Mobile and came back uh, like three days before we had to leave and it was just it's just really hard to get everything together and so for that I've written up here my wife uh, thanks Hooch for uh, getting everything together and taking care of all the stuff uh, while I was gone I really appreciate it she actually made it a tolerable fun trip I don't go anywhere without her now this is what I was taught what was beaten into me after being out in the woods 
Uh, and it's just something I, I kind of like to throw out there. When you come back, you clean all your equipment, you divide it into three groups. The stuff that you used every day, the stuff that you use sometimes, and the stuff that you never used, except for your first aid and your tools. The items in your second and your third group, you don't carry back with you. You only take the stuff that you use daily, so you have to substitute uh, the stuff you use sometimes, find a double use for it. Because when I did all this, and I did a lot of hiking and backpacking, up through the Smoky Mountains years ago, back when I was younger. Uh, an, ounce you, an ounce you carry on the trail is a pound, so this is what you kind of live by. So that's something, I, I don't really do it as much as I did now because, uh, you, you know, I, I've got a, a vehicle and a trailer and I can carry a whole bunch of stuff to make it comfortable for my myself, my wife, and my kids, and whoever I take with me. Um, but that's what I used when I was carrying stuff on my back up and down those mountains. So, it's just something I was throwing out there. Also, I want to mention Jason Beasley. Thanks for coming with us, man. I really appreciate it. And he told me about this stuff called mule tape. Y'all know what mule tape is? We're back. More mule tape time. is a flat nylon fiber weave that is used for packaging, uh, for running. Uh, running through and pulling stuff through ropes uh, or running ropes uh, through pipes and stuff like that and this stuff is just the shit it is lightweight it wads up it doesn't rot it dries quick and you can pull a car believe it or not if you double this up you can pull a vehicle with a rolling load that's not like a vertical, guys. I mean, that's a rolling load. You can pull, you can pull a truck with a double weave of that. That stuff is super duper, and it's actually yeah, there it is. Mule tape, thirteen hundred pounds, uh, is what it's rated at. It is better than paracord. So, thanks, Jason. I really appreciate that. Had no idea that stuff was around. Now, I also want to mention. Michael Steele, he is starting his own group. He is one of my administrators, and I, I like to think he's a good friend of mine. Uh, Arkansas Off-Road Mowers, he is starting it. Go to it on Facebook and join up. Um, it ought to be a really good group. I'm going to join, and I'm going to behave when I'm on his side. <laughs> More to come, um, guys. It was uh, Prepper Stock 2014. Like I said, it's just where a bunch of guys who like to do stuff and hang out and, and eat good, drink some beer. Um, we got together and, uh, and, and went and visited. Um, Low Buck Prepper uh, is the guy who thought it up. It's the fourth year they've done it. Uh, I'm going to go to him from now on if I'm able to. I think he said uh, the next one is going to be up in Michigan, maybe, possibly. So, if you're interested in it, go to Low Buck Prepper uh, on YouTube, and you can find it there. Uh, but And they had drawings. They had guns and fishing rods that they gave away and knives. And I won ammo boxes, which I really like the ammo boxes. And that, that's a uh, mortar, mortar round ammo boxes, 120 millimeter, something like that. So... We're going to do something with that. But more to come I on that. I guess that's too. about it for now. All I've done is talk. Didn't have a chance to do any riding today since I got home and everything soaked. I had to clean everything out. That's the other tent. Uh, I've got to get hung up to dry out. It's the last little bit of junk I got to get squared away. Man, we had a blast looking at doing something like that. Um, for the people that live in the Alabama area. So. Uh, give me some feedback. Yeah, you know, any of you guys live in the Alabama area, be interested in getting together three or four times a year, doing something like that, mud mowers and riding, good food. Leave a message. But as for me, I'm whooped. I still got a lot of shit to do, and y'all aren't helping. Y'all gonna make some mayhem.